Hi, this is Natalie from Allo Sprouts, and I just wanted to hop on and give you a quick five minutes on what we've done recently that has really improved our mornings. So we are a homeschool family, and I am a homeschool graduate. So I thought that it would be fun to just hop on and share just what's really happening around here and what is really helping. So mornings are not my favorite time of the day. I'm not naturally a morning person and when I had babies I always prioritized sleep over productivity and I have no regrets whatsoever. Well, maybe a few regrets, <laughs> but not very many. Sleep is important. So this summer we've started incorporating morning time into our morning routine, which we didn't really have a whole lot of a routine before. So it's made a huge difference. I am a big fan, especially now that my kids are older, of routines. You don't have to have a schedule. It doesn't have to be like minute by minute, but if you kind of know what should happen next, it really smooths things for everybody. So our current morning routine looks like I get up before everybody else. This is not something that I can always do. It's not something that I kind of lay upon myself as a responsibility. It's just, if it happens, it's really good. And today it happened, so I'm hopping on to give you a five minute video. <laughs> but, that's the first thing, if it can happen. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. But the first thing I do, for me, is I fill my cup, literally. I make my tea, I print out the chore list for the day, and I start getting ready for breakfast and morning time. So, breakfast, usually something very simple. Smoothies, oatmeal, Dutch babies, which are basically an oven pancake, pretty fast. Unless my nine-year-old got up really early, in which case she may want to make muffins. And if she got up early enough that that's not gonna push her whole morning out, then that is great, I love that. So she can sometimes do that. Um, so then we jump into morning time. If you're not familiar with morning time, it's super simple. I was intimidated by the name for a while. I'm just like, I don't know what that is. What is that? It's really simple, okay? It's just you start your day out with read aloud time, with something that you all love. Like, let's start the day with happiness, okay? Let's start the day with something we like. Let's be happy in the morning because we get to learn together. So our morning time is very simple. So we do mostly read alouds and two hymns. Okay, people can get really complicated with their morning time and that's fantastic. We are beginners and we keep it simple. So what we do is we read basically from a few different history resources. We read from the Bible, we sing a couple of hymns, and then we finish with just some fun books that we really wanna keep reading together. So I will probably do a video later on what our morning time looks like right now, but this is just a morning video, so I'm gonna keep it concise even though it's hard because I am really gonna try to keep us to five minutes because then I need to go get morning time started for my own kids so we start out with morning time and everybody loves morning time like wouldn't you love to get up and eat some oatmeal while somebody reads to you from a bunch of different fun and interesting things my five-year-old is a little bit skeptical. She's mainly just holding on and waiting for when we get to the end when we just do our fun read-alouds. But, you know, morning time is flexible at our house. We can do Play-Doh. We can color. We can have our hands busy as long as we're listening. So that really makes it easier for all of us to participate. And you know what? If the five-year-old runs off during one of our more advanced selections i may just not call her back right away too that's okay she's five <laughs> so anyway morning time big thing that's making our mornings run smoother we're all excited to start our day it's not like oh we ate breakfast and now we have to do school i can't find a pencil sharpener why i'm sure that never happens at anybody else's house does it is it just me okay that's what i thought anyway morning time has been really helping and then I read about two-thirds of large family logistics before I had to return it to the library and I got this really helpful tip make a chore list for every day of your week doesn't mean it all has to happen that day if it doesn't happen that's fine it might happen next week you know like as long as it happens eventually doesn't really matter if it happens this week or next week for most things so this is just for chores that maybe slip under the radar all the time put them on the list. Once a week, you get a shot at making them happen. So here is our list. I know it's reversed for you. Thursday, it says at the top, deep cleaning is our focus. So then it has everybody's names, 
and that they need to make bed, get dressed, brush teeth, and do one chore, it's listed here which chore it is, before they come to morning time. So that means they need to be productive before morning time. We all sit and rest at morning time. And then after morning time, we'll have a short morning chore time where they will get to pick a couple chores off the list. That gives me control over where they're focused, but it gives them control over what chores they would specifically like to do. Sometimes they are assigned to specific people with their name after them in brackets because that person needs to work on that skill. Life skills are super important, guys. So those are two things that have really, really been helping our mornings. And a third thing that I'm gonna throw in there really quickly is that if we can do morning time outside, we all, I feel, just enter our day with a lot more calmness. Nature is good for us too. So anyway, that's my video. I am over five minutes, <gasps> but it was fun. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. What is making your morning run more smoothly? Give me a like, give me a thumbs up. I don't know how YouTube works yet, but it's fun. So see you later guys.